Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today I'm going to show you a lot of the hidden features on the Yukon Tahoe Suburban. And uh, I actually have a huge playlist on how to operate a lot of these because some of them you actually have to turn on in order for the option to work. So I'll put the playlist to that in the description that'll show you how to activate these if they're not already active. So the first thing is turning the car on if you do have a push button start. You can access the accessory mode by not having your foot on the brake and holding the key down or the button down for about uh, 10 seconds and it'll start up and that way the car is not running but you can switch it into the different gears and uh, have the radio on and, and that kind of thing so that's helpful. Uh, next for the climate control system you'll see that you have to pretty much dial through every degree one by one and it can take uh, kind of a lot of time to do that. Uh, also, you'll notice that on the other side, the passenger side, since it's a dual climate control system, is not following this. But there is a way to do that, and if you see over here, there's a button called Sync, and when you hit that, notice how they now match. And so as you turn the knob on one side, it'll turn it on both sides. Now to get off of this function, it's pretty simple. All you'll have to do is uh, adjust it on the passenger side and by doing that it turns it off and now they're independent again. That's uh, just a quick way to uh, sync these if you want the same temperature and you don't want to dial all the way through so just hit that sync button. Next when towing with a trailer there's a button on the end of the uh, shift selector and when you push it it will actually swap in the transmission temperature gauge so that's kind of a cool feature and then the tow haul light comes on so you know it's activated. On the turnstock, uh, you'll notice that if you push it uh, all the way down, it will obviously turn on the left uh, blinker. Um, but something you may not have known is if you barely tap it, it will flash the blinker about three times. So see as you barely tap it here, it will automatically just do three uh, individual ones and that's basically for lane change. Uh, up here there's a hidden mirror if you want to see who's in the back and keep an eye on that so you can flip that down and that's handy for looking at your rear passengers. Uh, there's also a really cool hidden compartment here if you hit the button and that's where you can store some things and be getting into it. Uh, up front you have some garage door opener buttons and there are, once again I have a video on showing you how to program this to your home, but it's very convenient to have. Uh, also, you have a backup camera as soon as you hit it re into reverse, and uh, when you press and hold the lock button, it will actually fold the mirrors, and if you continue to hold it down, it will actually roll the windows down. Um, to unfold them, you'll do the same thing, and uh, it will, you just have to keep holding it down, that's the trick, and you do have to activate these ones as well. On the key fob, you'll see a little button, and so when you push that, an actual key comes out, so that can help you get into the vehicle if the battery has died on the remote fob. And uh, so that's a, a useful thing. This also gets you into the uh, rear spare tire lock because you have to unlock that. And there's a video on dropping the rear uh, tire that you probably want to see if you've never done that before. And once again, links in the description for all that. Uh, also to open the rear hatch, uh, if equipped, you can put your foot underneath and it will pop it open and that's a very useful thing. It'll also do the same uh, when it comes time to close it. You just put your foot and wave it under there near the uh, spare tire and it will come down on its own and lock. And so that's a very useful feature if you have your hands full, use it all the time. And uh, you also have the remote start uh, in order to start the vehicle. So that's very uh, convenient if you want to get it uh, running. Now, there's also a way to program the heated seats to come on or the cooled seats to come on. Um, as part of it and then you saw the push button on the handle that uh, unlocks it for you so those are things that you do have to set up inside the parameters as well but uh, the car will not do anything until you hit the start key and put your foot on the brake but then it hands it over to you and you're good to go so uh, once again if you wanted to use the uh, car from this point you do have to hit the start button or uh, it's just going to sit there and idle now if you have the car running and you get out of the car with the key fob on you, it will remind you by honking. So that's just a quick reminder that the key fob is on you and you're leaving the vehicle with it. I actually did a funny video as well you can watch of what will happen if you try to drive away without the key fob if you have left it behind somewhere. So for the sunroof, you'll notice that if you barely push the button, it'll open it a you know, little at a time. You have to push the button all the way down until you feel a little bit of a click and then it will go into the automatic mode. So you have to push the button all the way. You might think that your sunroof is not automatic, but it is. You just have to push the button all the way. 